drama been drama arab drama ole drama zote pamoja ay 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 ya can you even imagine an odinga having breakfast at the home of kapsaret legislator oscar sudi how now now before we go any further let's get our facts right the odingas and the sudis are close family friends they've always been but the truth is they've kept this from the public this has been a closely guarded secret which only a few know the meetings between Raila Odinga himself and Oscar Sudi have been top secret or that is true but the drama is in the fact that now they've decided to make it public why now why during this current political situation you see things in politics don't happen by accident they are usually carefully choreographed now i've taken the time i don't usually do this but i've taken the time to listen to what other political commentators and analysts are saying now you know there's a problem yeah if you're giving so many possible reasons yeah and then the real reason is number 5 or number 6 on your list you tend to lose your audience you don't hit the nail on the head and we all know at least those who are familiar with this channel that we hit the nail on the head we try our best to do that not to confuse our audience or leave them hanging there is absolutely no doubt on my mind that the publicizing of the breakfast visit by Raila Odinga Jr to the home of Kapsaret legislator and close ally to DP Ruto Oscar Sudi was intentional and had an important political objective now let's back up a little yeah so that i emphasize my point here what is the current mood with the handshake you know you can go into somebody's home yeah you don't know what has happened last night you don't know what the situation is and then very quickly within a few minutes you're able to read the mood in that house and the mood will tell you the situation if the woman of the house smiles to welcome you and then reverts to sura imefura kama mandazi ya bama <laughs> then you know hapa kimeumana the truth of the matter is that the current mood with the handshake is ice cold the handshake is intact yeah but like in that situation example i've given you we have gone into a couple's house the marriage is intact but the mood is cold so the handshake is intact but the mood around it surrounding it ah yeah 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 ice chilly cold now let us also appreciate the political reality and the political reality is that huru kenyatta no longer needs railo dinga that is a fact railo dinga yeah in agreeing to participate in the famous handshake saved the huru presidency and even more in my opinion saved kenya from chaos but now we have passed that stage all the focus is on the uru kenyatta succession so the truth is railo dinga as far as the uru kenyatta administration is concerned is not a necessity that government can run without railo dinga uru kenyatta can abandon the handshake today and nothing will happen politically it doesn't matter that people will say that he has used railo dinga and then dumped him the truth is the political consequences will be few well i can hear somebody saying raila could organize for huru to be impeached but just think about it 
Kuru is at the tail end of his presidency. The impeachment process could drag on for months and we would be getting closer and closer to August 2022, the end of his term and the new general elections. Politics is a power game at the end of the day and each side, each player has to flex their political muscles now and then. The decision to publicize the Raila Odinga Jr. visit to Oscar Sudi was very deliberate and it was a flexing of muscles of the Raila Odinga wing in the handshake. Now there's something very important we need to take careful note of. Right now, William Samoy Ruto is a bigger threat to Huru Kenyatta than Raila Odinga if he were to abandon the handshake today. Ruto has way too many jubilee secrets. A union of Ruto and Raila right now would completely destroy the carefully laid plans of the Uhuru succession, pure and simple. The Raila Odinga wing was sending a message of just how easy it is, how instant it can be, that Ruto and Raila could come together in a political union. You know when you organize something politically, the outcome may not come out exactly the way you intended. I believe the intention of this stunt was for social media to go on fire, discussing it, speculating about it. You know this business of planting stories on social media can be very tricky. It depends on so many factors. What else is social media talking about? What else are people engrossed in? Etc. Etc. I think also Kenyans were too shocked to say anything. So it didn't quite work out the way it was intended to. But I believe the message definitely reached home. Now you also need to find out many other things about Ray Odinga, which are in my weekly intelligence briefings. Yeah, so stay on for a moment and listen to my earlier recording that tells you more about my WIBs. While I try my very best to give you real value of this public channel, and to give you all the valuable information I can. The truth is, there's some information that is way too sensitive to share on this public channel. That information usually ends up in my weekly intelligence briefings, which is usually Moto Kamapasi. Just to give you a few examples, what really happened to former president of Tanzania, Dr. John Pombe Magfuli? Is it true that he passed on at a Nairobi hospital? Actually, the Magfuli inside story is nothing short of mind boggling. Most people who have taken in my WIB number 52 which contains this information have been left breathless. Even the most hardened cynics have been left words, if I can put it in the Kenyan way. Another example of a WAB that I published recently. There is a secret that those who are close to Raila Odinga have guarded and continue to guard with everything they have. Why is this particular secret so sensitive? And what is it anyway? It is contained in one of my WABs. In fact, a recent one. And there's much more, including things you'd never imagine that are happening in the corridors of power that neatly explain what we see unfolding in the public domain. Bottom line, you will never look at Kenyan politics in the same way again after you become a WIB subscriber. Indeed, it is true to say that in most instances, the truth is stranger than fiction. And sometimes 
much more difficult to believe than fiction but it remains the naked truth and now you have a golden opportunity of becoming a weekly intelligence briefing subscriber on a monthly basis which will automatically give you access to every single WIB ever produced or oh, yes i will send you all the WIBs immediately you become a subscriber and to become a monthly subscriber all you need is $9 and 95 cents only or Kenya shillings 995 only simply send a blank email the email address you see on your screens right now and you'll get an automated response by email instantly within seconds with full payment instructions and what you need to do the same full payment instructions are also included in the description area below this video on YouTube. I strongly recommend that you go for it because this offer will not last for much longer. I really look forward to seeing you on the other side as a WIB subscriber. Thanks so much for your support. It means a lot to me. And I'm saying that very sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I look forward to seeing you on the other side as a WIB subscriber. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja.